I had lived in this Tantra ashram in India for a year studying Tantra and meditation and I kept going back to in that environment men and women met each other very differently. We were friends first and then we saw if a sexual friendship was was a natural outcome of that friendship. That's how it worked there. And of course here, if you're in the friend zone, that's death, right? Nobody wants to be in the friend zone, but there, friend zone was where you want to be because you trust friends, you relax with friends, you find out if that's a natural way of being together. So I started putting together some of the principles I'd learned in Tantra with the dating. I started considering dating part of my spiritual growth, part of my spiritual process. Spiritual. And, uh, in Tantra, which is the other spiritual path, everything's already perfect. Everything's already divine. There's nothing you need to do except get rid of what, except notice what's in your way of noticing that. So this is harder than it sounds, but we've all had moments when we felt, when we had that utter feeling that all is perfect. Sometimes it's when we took, took a hike up Runyon, maybe when we stood up the top, we're like, oh, you got all the endorphins going right and you're just vibrating with how perfect everything is. You've been in love and you're walking around those first stages of love when you're in the fantasy and, and you go, oh, I just love everybody, right? Or, or something that happens. So we all inherently have had those moments of everything being perfect. So it is in us. But in Tantra, we try to develop that sense of realizing it more often, living in that state. So if I'm going to date from that state, everybody that I'm meeting is perfect. Does that mean I'm going to end up that that person's going to be my lover? The likelihood is not. Out of 150 guys, one was. Well, I had some false starts in there, of course, but the likelihood that this person you're on the date, date with is your perfect beloved is slim. Does that mean we dismiss them and throw them out like garbage? The Western conventional dating scene says yes. Yes, garbage. We treat each other like disposable trash and we wonder why we're not finding love and we get treated like disposable trash. So I started realizing we need to develop our, we need to go into dating as loving beings. I had to raise my frequency. So I had to realize I was in that mindset. I was in that conventional mindset. I was, and I was following conventional dating advice that I should make a shopping list as specific as possible. Did anybody notice those kind of advice? Okay, so what my ego wants is this, this, and this. And I, my list was about 50 items long because I thought I'm older now, I should get exactly what I want. It was ridiculous. And what that does is that me, everyone I meet, then I'm unloving to because you're not it. I, what a waste of my time. So you hear people saying this all the time, dating's a waste of time. What a waste of time. And I would feel that too. And as I kept developing in this six years, well, now it's, we've been hanging out for two. So during those three and a half, four years I was dating, I kept noticing, kept coming back to me, my Tantra experience. I would go, I'm going to sit with this person. And even if it's not going to be my true beloved, I'm going to experience what's in my way of loving this person and develop myself more as a loving person because I need to be at the frequency of love to attract love. We're going out with a frequency of non-love to find love, and it's no wonder we're not finding love. So I'm going out as a judgmental person. Of course, we're not judgmental because we're spiritual, but I was very judgmental. I was very judgmental. And um, I was very judgmental on it, whether or not someone was conventionally considered good looking or not, what kind of shoes they wore, all this kind of nonsense. Forgetting about kind. And I had to bust myself on that and become a more loving person so I could attract a loving person because the men I was attracted to, uh, men I was attracting were half loving because I was half loving. And if I wanted a relationship that was fully loving, I needed to become fully loving. So I started using dating to show up and be more loving. This guy's perfect. This is who the universe has decided is my lover in this moment. 
probably not for more than this 45 minute coffee date but in this moment this is my perfect love and I started developing myself more loving I used to go get massage anybody go to those Chinese foot massage I love them right they're like one of the best finds right they're like $25 you get a full body massage it's amazing so I go once a week and I would uh, I still do it I do it as a tantric exercise because it, it makes you a better lover but I would practice while they're working on me I think this is my lover in this moment this is who the universe has brought me as a lover in this moment and it's me who's finding it not perfect who am I to find this not perfect so I would work with myself this way how can I see the perfection in this moment so this is a lot of words we're going to actually do some uh, uh, exercises in here to try to actually experience that in your own bodies rather than just hear it as a bunch of words from me okay you guys up for that